Joe from Total Justice Gaming. Of course, please always like and subscribe. We work hard to bring you guys deck profiles and match videos five days a week. Today we got... Danger World. So, I am Tyler, a.k.a. TIE Fighter, a.k.a. Eagle, a.k.a. The Hype. And it's super good. And it's super good. Super special awesome. <laughs> it's Danger World, it's Armor Knight, and the buddy is Armor Knight Werewolf. We'll get into him in a second. We'll start it off with size threes. We have two Armor Knight Demon Ace. So, really, his skill, we never really call him. A lot of times, we'll just gauge him and put him into the soul of our item. Because when he's in the soul, we can pay a gauge and restand the item. So it's super aggressive, really pushes for damage. Uh, and if we do get the chance to use his double attack and his counter speed to put him in the soul, but a lot of times I would rather just put him in the soul directly rather than risk counter destruction. Uh, then from there, we have three Armor Knight Iblis. Iblis is also really good to push for damage with the double attack. Don't really ever get his extra ability to get penetrating critical plus one, but honestly we just mainly use him for a board clear. And sometimes to wall if we don't get an item, which sometimes does happen, unfortunately. Then we have two copies of Armor Knight Archangel. Uh, double attack and soul guard with free is pretty good. Uh, mainly just use him to push for damage with the double attack, and that's about it. Sometimes to get stuff out of the way if there's something in the center. Then, the MVP of the deck, we have four copies of Armor Knight Buster Cerberus Ace. This card wins you games, because when he's in the soul, he gives your item a crit for each soul. You get two, the effect stacks, and you will one-shot people with this card. It is amazing, it is super fun, it pours salt on people. That's all you really need to know. Then we size ones, two copies of Tiger Ace. When it's in the soul, it gives it double attack of the item. That's all that really matters. Again, just pushing for damage. We want to kill as fastly as possible. I don't think fast is a word. Then we have the buddy. Four copies of Armor Knight Werewolf. When he enters play, you pay a gauge to put a card from your drop zone into the soul of your item. So mainly just use him to uh, get cards from your drop zone. All your aces early instead of waiting for life break five, which is really good just to like really get you going really fast. Then we have three copies of Oh, Gargoyle Ace, not Ogre Ace. Uh, Gargoyle Ace, when he's in the soul, you can uh, discard him to nullify an attack. It's really good. Uh, helps you uh, be more defensive. And uh, spell nulls don't work on him, which is always nice. Then we have two copies of Ogre Ace. Uh, mainly just for those matchups where somebody's walling you and you really need the uh, power to push through it with your weapon. Um, honestly, not super important. A lot of times he's the first card I side out. Uh, so at best, he makes your weapon 10 or 12k. At worst, he's a thousand rapier dragon with three crit. So from there, we move to spells. Starting it off, we have three copies. Uh, Demon Slay Come Forth. This card works really well in the deck because uh, it gives you gauge and it mills your cards. So first turn you have this in hand, but nothing in drop zone, but you have cards that you want to put. Uh, cards that can put cards into the soul of things. Just drop this, hopefully you'll get something in there, and you'll always get the gauge, which is super handy. Then we have four copies of Demon Slay, Blood Wind Wall. Uh, the reason why we want to run this over something like Battle or a Circle is because this can be used with a monster in the center, and it also works uh, because it's a Demon Slay. Demon Slay come forth can grab it off of its mill because you can grab any Demon Slay with this card that you mill. So just shields, staple. Then we have two copies of Invigorating Breath. Uh, honestly, just to uh, because we're Danger World, we tend to be a little squishy because our uh, center is usually open and we take a lot of hits. Uh, so this just helps you uh, stay up. Um, I was running uh, Deep Kijong of the Hungry Wolf. 
but having a guaranteed plus four over a conditional plus eight has proven to be way better in every single matchup. Then we have three copies of Shadow Crusader. It's another shield. It reduces and it mills. Uh, the mill is really what's important here because you want cards in your drop zone to put into the soul of items on your field. Then, last spell of the deck, we have on the same boat as a Hazardous Dragon, uh, you pay a life to gain a gauge and take a card from the drop zone, uh, or a monster from your drop zone and put it into the soul of a card on your field. Uh, so you can use this with things like Iblis and Archangel as well if you want to power them up, but a lot of times you're mainly just going to use it to put an ace monster into the soul of your item, and it gives you a gauge, which is helpful as well. Then we're moving into items because this is Danger World, you gotta have your items. We have four copies of uh, Fang, Spear, Axe, Ogre, Demon Slay. Uh, I was running, um, what is it, the uh, card that gets crit of the item in its soul, um, whatever. This is way better than that because while um, that card can get a lot of crit, this can get a lot of crit on a moment's notice, and a lot of times this is super handy to just pay the life, gain the crit, and end your opponent right when you need to. It doesn't mess around, it gets the job done really, really well. Then we have one copy of uh, Supreme G is sure Demon Slay. Mainly just for consistency purposes, don't really ever want to see this. But worst case scenario, we don't hate to see this because that natural penetrate does come in handy a lot of time. Then, the last weapon of the deck, we have four copies of Invoke Impetuous Deity Hibakara. This card is amazing because it's got 7 k clearing power, it has Soul Guard, it grabs a card from the drop zone on equip, so you can get those ace monsters into the drop, equip this, get them into the soul, start powering this thing up, and every time it attacks, it mills too, so you just fuel that drop zone even more to get even more uh, uh, fuel for your items. A lot of times, depending on which item you get, dictates how you're going to play through the game. So, if you get De Ogre Demon Slay, a lot of times you're going to push for damage really fast. You can try an FTK or OTK. This, a lot of times you're going to go for a longer game, and you're going to try and like power this up way more than you would Ogre Demon Slay. Then, for the last card of the deck, we have the Impact Monster. At four copies, Giga Armonite Cerberus Ace. This is the other card that will end games for you, because he comes into play, he swings for three crit, then he goes into the soul of your item, stands it, and grabs another card from drop to put it in the soul of your item. So if you have uh, the new Cerberus, the Cerberus Buster, that's an instantly plus two crit. And if you snag another Cerberus Buster from the drop, that's plus four crit just by having him there. So a lot of times this will this will end your opponent. This will just be the final nail in the coffin. And if he doesn't do it, your item will, which is super fun. But yeah, that's Armor Knights. They're super fun. They're super aggro. They're super good. Uh, and uh, that's all. All right, Joe, I'm done. <laughs>